Thanks, uh, thanks for the question. Uh, you mentioned uh, during a part of your, uh, your statement, uh, you mentioned air quality. Um, I want to lead off by saying that the Liberal Party is the party of dirty diesel trains that will come Then it was going to be 2011. Now it's uh, yet another target in 2015, if not later. Um, so th th that's the real liberal record on, on protecting our air quality. In terms of uh, gasoline prices, sir, I encourage you to come with me tomorrow for a couple of hours. And let's talk to some, uh, some blue-collar, hard-working folks here in York Southwestern who play by the rules, who work hard, who rely on their automobiles to get to work and to get home to be with their kids. Right? Some of them who work out of their cars, and right now they're having trouble making ends meet. And one of the stressors is the cost of gasoline. Transit in this part of the city right now is inadequate. It's insufficient. It's unreliable. Until we can improve public transit in this part of the city, far too many of our neighbors need to rely on private automobiles to get around. And if there's a way for us to save them a few bucks every single month, I'm in favor of it. Thank you. like Suzuki uh, that easy and I think everyone knows that. I also want to say that the next step for York Southwestern is to electrify. I've always been with the community on this and I'm very encouraged by the fact that the government has declared the Georgetown corridor a priority corridor has launched an EA, and I would like to see it done as soon as possible by 2015. And I know that this will be a hard fight for the community, but I think we're used to that. I'm willing to take on the challenge. <laughs> 